It's Mrs. Bradley. We're back in the art studio. Today we're going to draw in color sea creatures. I have a crab, a fish, and a sea anemone. If you want to make one animal, you could make one animal. If you want to have two animals, you could make two animals. If you'd like to do all three, you could do all three. I'm going to show you how to do all three. I'm going to start with a clean piece of paper. And when I draw my circles today, I'm going to use a plastic cup. This is an applesauce cup that I washed out so it's not sticky. And I'm going to start with my crab. He's the biggest, so he needs the most room. When you put your cup down on your paper, you're going to want to push it away from the edge a little bit so that you have room for his legs. So I'm going to hold the cup down with my fingers and I'm going to trace around it. Pick it up. I'm going to draw his eyes first. A stick. Looks like the number one. And another stick. Looks like the number 11 now. And on top of my sticks, I'm going to draw a circle. Those will be his eyes. I'm going to draw another circle inside. Now I'm going to work on his front pinchers. I'm going to be using a line and the shape of a letter U. So I'm going to make one line come up on this side and I'm going to have one line come up on this side. If they're not exactly the same, it's all good. And on top of my line, I'm going to make the letter U. Start at the top, come around, touch his arm, and go back up. Now to make it look like a pincher, I'm going to start on the left hand side, and I'm going to come down. And go up. Almost looks like the letter V. I'm going to go down and up. Now I'm going to add his legs. When I draw his legs, I'm going to use lines and circles. So I'm going to put three lines on this side. And I'm going to go to the left side. And I'm going to add three more lines. And at the end of each line, I'm going to draw a circle. Crab is done. Now we're going to work on a fish. My fish body is going to be a circle. So I'm going to take my plastic cup, I'm going to put it down on my paper, somewhere where my crab is not. I'm going to hold it with my fingers, and I'm going to trace around it. And the first thing I'm going to add to my fish is the eye. I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to put another circle on the inside and I'm going to add a couple of lines. If you want to add eyelashes, you can add eyelashes or any other kind of detail that you want. You could be silly and even put glasses on your fish. Next, I'm going to add the fins. My fins look like a triangle. 
So I'm going to draw a line. One triangle. I'm going to come up at a diagonal. I'm going to go down at a diagonal. And then I'm going to connect them. I'm going to add a triangle fin on the back. If you want to add another fin on the bottom, you can add a fin on the bottom. And I was silly, and I added lips on my fish. You could draw a mouth. Take your pencil or your pen and just do that. Or if you want to make fish lips, all I did is like, kind of like going over the hill. Touch your fish, go up, and around. Touch your fish and go down and around. And your fish is done. The next thing I'm going to draw is my sea anemone. I'm still going to use my plastic cup, but when I put it down, I'm not going to trace all the way around it. I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to go about halfway around. Put it over there. Almost looks like the letter C. Turned upside down. And for the bottom of my sea anemone, I'm just going to draw a wavy line. Almost looks like a Pac-Man. And for the legs, all I did was touch the wavy line and sea anemones look like jellyfish and they have wobbly legs. Let's see, maybe I need another leg over here. If you wanted to, you could draw eight legs and turn it into an octopus. I'm going to add a line from one side to the other side. And I'm going to make mine fancy. I'm going to put circles for a detail. If you don't want to add detail, that's fine. If you want to make them striped, you could make it striped. Now I'm going to draw the bottom of my ocean. I'm going to make my marker touch the left-hand side of my paper. And I'm going to touch the right-hand side of my paper. Now in my original drawing, I added a few plants. You could add plants, you could add coral, you could add flowers, you could add whatever you'd like. Now today when I color my picture, I'm going to use markers. If you don't have markers, you could always use your crayons. I'm going to color my sea anemone first. And again, you can pick any colors you'd like. I know that the ocean is salt water, and the salt water fish and creatures can be very colorful. You can use whatever colors you would like. When you're coloring, you want to concentrate, try and stay in the lines. So I got half my sea anemone done. I'm going to make the top of it green. I like to trace the black line with my marker or my crayon first and then go back in to fill in the color. I find that helps me be a neater color. And if I put my marker on the 
lay it on its side. It makes a fatter line. So it covers more space. I'm going to color my fish next. Give my fish some bright pink lips. And you know what? I've got another shade of pink here. It's called a raspberry. One triangle, two triangles, and again, I like to trace the shapes, especially when they're bigger. When you're trying to color in a small space, you can use the tip of your marker. And when it's a bigger space, you can lay it kind of on its side. To color more space faster. Okay, let's color his eye. Or maybe it's a girl. I'm going to give my fish a green eye. And I like the bright yellow that's on my sea anemone. So I'm going to go around the eyeball with yellow. I think I'm going to get an orange marker. And again, I'm going to trace around my circle with my marker. I'm going to lay my marker on its side. And go around my eye. And I'm going to color my fish in. And I just noticed that I used a shade of red, which is pink. And I used a shade of orange. And those are warm colors. They're warm like the sun. Okay, my fish is done. Now I'm going to work on my crab. I have a light orange. This one's called golden orange. They have fancy names for markers. Kind of like those big boxes of crayons that you see. Tracing the shape. Color it in. This would be a great opportunity to practice coloring in your lines. I like the idea of a green eye, so I'm going to give my crab green eyes. I'm going to go around it with gray. And I have one more thing to color in, his shell her shell. I'm going to trace the circle and if you need to move your paper you can move your paper around. Sometimes when Miss Bradley is painting I even turn my canvas around. So I've traced it. Now I'm going to color it in. Now, I know you're thinking, ooh, what am I going to color the water? On this project, Miss Bradley decided not to color in all the water. I thought I'd try something different. I used circles to show the water. So I'm going to take my light blue marker, draw a circle, color it in. Draw a circle, color it in. They do not have to be all the same size. They could be little. They could be big. And I just had an idea. So I'm going to put a few light blue circles on my paper. And now I'm going to get a darker shade of blue and draw some dark blue circles and color them in. Maybe put one here, put one here, and again, they can be little or they can be big. It's up to you. You're the artist. The last detail I'm going to add are my pebbles in the sand. Again, I'm going to
going to make different sizes of ovals or circles. Draw a circle, color it in. Maybe this is a half a circle. Color it in. Maybe it's an oval. Color it in. Maybe it's a shape without a name. That's called an organic shape. Color it in. Then I'm going to take my gray. And yours can be all brown. They can be black. They can be any color you'd like. So I think I have my pebbles almost finished. And if you want to add a plant like Miss Bradley, this is what I did. I started at the sand and I drew a curvy line going up. At the top, I drew a circle. And then I just put circles touching the line. They can be across from each other. So like if I want one across, I can put one there. Or there doesn't have to be one across. Maybe we'll put this one down here. You could pretend that's coral and color it in any color you'd like. Or if you want to make it a plant, I think I'll make mine a green plant. I think my picture's done. But I just remembered I need to do one more thing. I need to sign my name at the bottom like an artist. Hope you had fun. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.